Dear students, now we are going to discuss absorption loss in optical communication. In fiber cable, absorption occurs due to the fiber material composition and its fabrication process. In general, the glass fiber is widely used for optical communication. This glass fiber is extremely pure, but at the same time it has some impurities. So due to this impurities, there is some absorption loss. Do you all understand this one? So absorption loss is mainly due to the fiber material composition and its fabrication process. So this loss results in the form of heat that is the dissipation of optical power as heat in the cable. Okay. There are three basic mechanisms of absorption in this optical fiber. The first one is absorption by atomic defects in glass composition. The next one is extrinsic absorption by impurity atoms. The third one is intrinsic absorption. So let's discuss each type in detail here. The first one is absorption by atomic defects. Here atomic defects represent the imperfections in the atomic structure of fiber material. As we all know that the glass fiber is composed of randomly connected molecules. So here imperfections like last molecules or high density clusters of atoms then these losses are negligible one. Okay when compared with extrinsic losses and intrinsic losses okay. But at the same time, this atomic defect becomes significant when the fiber is exposed to ionizing radiation process. That is in the application of nuclear reactor, medical therapy, etc. In that application, this ionizing radiation damages the atomic structure of fiber. Okay, at that time, the loss becomes very high. That is in the considerable range, okay. So here attenuation is directly proportional to the ionizing radiation intensity. So that's what given here. If radiation intensity is increased, it will increase the attenuation loss as well. Okay. Next one is extrinsic absorption. Here extrinsic represents the impurities in the fiber materials. There are two kinds of impurities available in the fiber materials. One is Transition metal impurities, the next one is OH ions, okay. Here the transition of metal impurity ions causes the major extrinsic absorption. Here the metal impurities are ion, copper, chromium, cobalt, etc., okay. Here the transition happens in two places. One is electronic transition between the energy levels. The next one is charge transition from one ion to another ion, okay. Here the last range is from 1 to 10 dB per kilometer, okay. So this type of loss can be reduced by using glass refining techniques that is modern vapor phase fiber techniques, okay. So this techniques used to reduce metal transition, okay. So the next one is OH ions. So OH means water ions that are dissolved in the glass material which cause the major extrinsic absorption. This OH ions results from the oxyhydrogen flame used in the hydrolysis process, okay, in the fabrication process. So this loss can be reduced by reducing the water content in the fiber around 1 parts per billion. So this is the attenuation as a function of wavelength for this OH ions. Here we can consider three transmission windows, first window, second window, third window. Here first window is the short range wavelength window, second one is medium range, third one is long range, okay. In this one, the attenuation that is absorption due to OH ions value is 0.5 at this 1310 nanometer range. So this is the lowest point for this second window. Here this value is 0.25 at this 1510 nanometer. So these two windows are widely used in many applications, okay. Last one is intrinsic absorption. Intrinsic represents 
extremely pure state of the material with no density variation. So here intrinsic absorption is the lower limit of absorption. This intrinsic absorption results from the electronic absorption bands in the UV range and from the atomic vibration bands in the IR range. So here these two are very very important factors caused for intrinsic absorption. Okay. So electronic absorption bands in UV range and atomic vibration bands in IR range. Here the absorption loss occurs when a photon interacts with an electron in the valence band and he excites it to the higher energy level under this UV range. Okay. Here UV absorption is indirectly proportional to this wavelength. That means UV absorption decreases exponentially with increasing this wavelength. Okay. So that's what given in this diagram. So here the UV absorption loss is decreased exponentially with increasing this wavelength. Okay. So the next one is IR absorption that can be determined by the presence of OH ions. Okay. UV loss at this particular wavelength can be obtained as alpha UV is equal to 154.2x by 46.6x plus 60 into 10 to the power minus 2 exponential of 4.63 by lambda in terms of dB per kilometer. Okay, X is the mole fraction of germanium oxide and lambda is the operating wavelength. Okay, here absorption is caused by the interaction between the vibrating band of infrared frequency range and the electromagnetic field of optical signal. That is transfer of energy from the optical field to the IR vibrating band. So here the IR absorption loss can be obtained by using this expression 7.81 in 10 to the power 11 into exponential of minus 48.48 by lambda okay